Hey guys, it's Serena Belsic here. So today I'm going to walk you through a typical day of keto and what that looks like for me. I start my day off with about 30 minutes of elliptical activity, so I'm going to clap on the elliptical and drink my exogenous ketones. So exogenous ketones are not part of a keto diet, a typical keto diet. That's something that you can add in as a supplement, and I find very helpful. It helps me with mental clarity and focus, as well as helps curb my appetite and gives me that feeling of being full for a longer period of time. But today I'm going to walk you through what I eat for breakfast, what I eat for lunch, and then what I eat for dinner. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified of all new keto topics, and I'll be right back. I try to have a breakfast higher in fat in order to boost my metabolism and help with fat loss. So keep in mind when you first wake up, your body is in a fat burning mode. And to keep that going, you want to have a high fat breakfast and then spread your carbs out over lunch and dinner. So for breakfast, I had two egg omelet with cheese, avocado, bacon that was left over from the dinner from last the night before, and then MCT oil. This is a nice high fat breakfast to start the day. Getting your macros, fat macros up in the morning helps you feel full and it also aids in fat loss. So a trick to making an omelet is to cook one side and then place it in the oven to broil for about a minute. This is actually something that my husband taught me because I am definitely not a master of flipping eggs or flipping anything for that matter. So after it is done cooking, I um, take it out of the oven and then place a cheese slice with about half of the cream cheese on it along with the bacon. I put it back in the oven for about 30 seconds to a minute. After taking it out, I then fold it over, put it on a plate, and spread the remaining cream cheese on top. I garnish with about a half of an avocado and then go ahead and enjoy it. The macros for this meal are fats at about 83%, proteins are about 15%, and my carbs are about 2%. So this is a great high fat meal to start off your day. For lunch, I make a guacamole burger with a side of celery. To start off, what you want to do is you want to half your avocados and cut cut with a knife and then um, take the pits and throw them away, putting both of the avocados into a bowl. Then you're going to uh, go ahead and cut up your tomato and onion um, alongside and just set them in a separate bowl. So after you have si sliced your avocados and halved them up, what you're gonna do next is then you're going to take the knife and slice up your avocados and just cut them into really, really small pieces. You're not gonna do any of the mashing or um, smoothing out your guacamole just yet. You, you wanna make sure that you have everything uh, all together and then you're gonna mash it all up in one um, fell swoop. So next is uh, after cutting up all the avocado into small pieces, um, as I said, you have your tomatoes and onions that you've already diced up into a small bowl. And you're going to go ahead and um, add them all together. Next, you're going to take your lime and you are going to roll it on the counter. This actually helps like get the juices all ready um, to come out easily. So next you're going to half the lime. And now remember, or you may not know this, but limes do not have seeds in them, so there's no need to actually worry about straining the juice. So go ahead and squeeze both halves directly into the bowl. <clears throat> After you're done doing this, you're going to add in all the remaining ingredients. These are like all of the, the dry ingredients, the cumin, um, the salt, etc. Once all the ingredients have been added, what you're going to do next is then you're going to start mashing everything up. Now, when I first started, um, I'll start here in just a second, I actually started with a spoon and as I started mashing it up, you'll, you'll see it's actually pretty uh, labor intensive, I would say. Uh, it, it takes a while to mash everything up. I like my guacamole a little smoother. So then halfway through mashing and mixing everything up, I actually am going to switch over to a fork. And that actually is going to help with um, getting a smoother texture for your guacamole. Um, so then I start, you know, continuing to, to mash everything up and mix everything up until you get the consistency that you um, know that you like in your guacamole. 
at the same time I am preparing the guacamole, my husband is actually cooking our burgers um, off, off screen so that it is actually a, a shorter video and you're not watching me just cook a burger. You can cook it on the grill. Um, today it's actually raining outside, so I actually cooked mine on the stove. We just pan fried burgers and then added um, cheese. So everything was uh, once everything is complete, what I do is I'm going to put my cheeseburger uh, on a plate with guacamole, add just a small dollop of that uh, with celery, and then this actually is going to, um, the macros that I display on the screen is going to reflect the cheeseburger. It's an 80-20 burger, and then a, a slice of uh, Colby Jack cheese, and then the guacamole on top of that. The macros for this are fats at 73%, proteins at 22%, and carbs are at 5%. So for dinner, I am going to make a cauliflower chicken casserole, which is super simple and makes for a great leftovers the next day or two. So I try to make extra food for dinner so they have leftovers for a few days to follow, or for that throughout the week. This helps with meal prep and not only having to worry about what's going to be for lunch the next day. So for this meal, I found it helpful to cut up the cream cheese and, pour, and place it aside. Next, you're going to add in um, the cooked cauliflower and over your, your cream cheese, cut up your jalapenos and then mix everything together just you know mixing everything really well then you're going to smooth it all out top it off with your shredded cheese and then bake it for about 15 minutes this is a great great meal and very very filling this meal is higher in carbs so it actually rounds out your day your fats are at 57 percent your proteins are at 35 percent and your carbs are at about eight percent but overall, if you take what you had for the, for the day and you take all of all three of your meals, what you're going to find is that your total overall macros are fats at 76%, proteins at 20%, and carbs are at 4%. I call that a very successful, satisfying keto day. So I hope you enjoyed this um, video and tried all the recipes. If you tried any of the recipes, add a comment below. And then don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified of all new keto topics.